Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Not Quite Nerdy, where we do the nerdy stuff so you don't have to. You guys broke over 65,000 views on the last Beginners Start Here video, so uh, this is part two. You guys have earned it. Thank you so much for blowing up this channel. Uh, please help me get to 1,000 subscribers as fast as possible so I can keep making more great content like this. Thank you so much, and on with the video. All right, first tip number one, uh, how to format an SD card. So I know all of you, when you get your new Steam decks, now that they're shipping readily uh, within two weeks, you're gonna want to put some more storage in it. So I have the 256, I put 15 games on, most of them small, and I still needed um, a whole extra SD card. The problem is most games that you really wanna play, Elden Ring, Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, the new Uncharted collection, anything big, any AAA game is probably gonna be between 50 and 100 gigs. So. Uh, First up, we're gonna hit the Steam button. And we're gonna go all the way down to settings. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to system and you're gonna scroll down about four clicks and there's gonna be a button that says format SD card. You're gonna click that. It's gonna go through an animation and take a couple of minutes to finish. It's gonna say it's testing the card and then once it's done testing, boom, you'll be done. After that, you'll hit the back button or B. You're gonna scroll all the way down till you get to uh, storage and then you should see your SD card at the top. It should show two different spots. It should show an internal drive and then it should show an SD card. Boom, that's number one. All right, number two, uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to get into desktop mode. If you haven't already seen this, um, I'm sure most of you have and there's plenty of places to look for it, but I'm gonna show it anyway. Uh, you're gonna hit the uh, either the Steam button and you go all the way down to power or you can hold the power button up top and go all the way down to power. Uh, so let's hit back. If I hold down the power button, it'll pop up. And you're gonna scroll down to switch to desktop mode. Now this will take a second to get into. Okay, now that we're in desktop mode, you're gonna see on the desktop mode, there's gonna be a return to gaming mode section or little button that you can click on or icon. And right next to that will be Steam. So if you wanna get into Steam desktop mode and get familiar, I would check a couple of things. One, this is gonna be where you can download and install uh, other programs and other launchers and other things. So let's say you got your Steam Deck, you've been playing it for a month or two, and now you're starting to get the itch. This is gonna be how you tinker. Uh, the main thing I would say is when you first load into it, and it may be different on the new units, but the Firefox web browser installer that's at the bottom, uh, that did not work, it kept failing. Uh, so what I did is I deleted that out of my task menu. I went into the Discover Center, or the store as I like to call it, and I searched Firefox. Uh, or you can search Chrome or whatever you're looking for. Um, even desktop version of D Discord is on here for Linux. And then I just installed it from there. Once you've done that, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to Steam, right? If you wanna be able to use, so if you wanna be able to use it inside your, your Steam uh, game mode, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in, you're gonna click on Steam, you're gonna go to games, you're gonna go to add non-Steam game to my library. And when that pops up, you're gonna see every single executable file or application that's on here. You're gonna find that, whether it's Google Chrome or whatever, and you're going to click Add Selected Programs. Now, because this is the Linux version, you won't need to do anything else. You can close gaming mode when you've finished messing with it, and you can return back to gaming mode. That was number two and three. Number four, we're gonna talk about app switching. Now, it's not super elegant, but it's super easy. So let's get into the Steam Deck here. So in order to be able to app switch, so um, an example where you're gonna to wanna to do this is you don't have another device, you don't feel like taking out your phone, and you're like me, you just wanna be able to go look up how to get to the next level or beat that thing or jump into a YouTube video real quick. So what you wanna do is you wanna hit start. Uh, the music will play for the game in the background. So that's kind of a, the only thing downside to it, but you're gonna hit the Steam button. You are gonna be at the top, you'll see your game is running. What you're gonna go is you're gonna go to home. You're gonna scroll over to the Chrome that we installed earlier from the desktop mode, or Firefox, whatever you like, and you're gonna hit play. Now what it's gonna do is it's gonna launch this browser on the side. I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna hit YouTube, and I'll show you how eloquently and elegantly and elementally this works. So I'm gonna hit Steam button now. I can go back to my game. Hit Steam button again, I can scroll down and go back to Chrome. Now, the only time I've seen this not work is when I was chatting in Steam chat, playing a game and using YouTube. Uh, it's the only time it's crashed on me, but for the most part, this seems to work every time. That is number four. This one's pretty easy. This one's gonna be how to join a co-op game with a friend from chat. It's very simple. All you're gonna do is while you're in the game, you have to launch it typically first. You're gonna launch the game, and once you're in the game and it's loaded and you're ready, your friend's opened up his lobby or whatever to create that, that game, and this is through Steam Chat. Uh, you're gonna go ahead and hit the Steam button. You're gonna go to Friends and Chat. You're gonna go to that friend. You're going to hit right click. 
And what you'll see is a little menu pops up, or sorry, the start menu. You're gonna go click on your friend with the start menu, the three little dots, top right button. Uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and right click on their little thing, or I gotta stop calling it right click. You're gonna hit start button on their name on the left side of the chat. And you'll see as you scroll down far enough under the manage tab, it'll say uh, join game, launch game, or store page, or watch game, something along those lines. You're gonna click join game and it should load you straight into their game. That is number five. All right, this one's only worked for me on a couple of games, but I figured it's worth telling people. So if you'll notice in a lot of games, when you load them, the settings will tell you that it's 1280 by 800. So the true resolution of the screen, 800p. However, when you go into the game and look at it, there's a black bar at the top and a black bar at the bottom, otherwise called letterboxing in the movie world. What I've seen work on a few different games, and it's worth trying on any games you have this issue with, if you want the full resolution, worked on Guardians of the Galaxy and a couple others, um, what you can do is, go into the settings and make sure it's in full screen. Uh, if it's in anything else, windowed or something else, that may be the issue. Uh, so put it to full screen. The next thing you wanna do is you want to put it in the 1280 by 800. So drop it down to 720p, 1280 by 720, and then move it back up to 1280 by 800. This has fixed it on a few games and I hope it works for you. This last tip, tip number seven, is a big one for me. It has worked for me for years on lower spec PCs and it will work on the Steam Deck. Every time I load a new game, this is how I tweak performance to have better frame times and have a better gaming experience. All you have to do is go into the game. You're gonna go into the settings. You're gonna go in and you're gonna turn these three things off. One of them is depth of field. That is a blur. Anytime a CPU and GPU have to blur a background, so that's like when you look at a camera like this, I'm in focus and the closer I get, the blurrier the background gets. Every time a computer has to do that, it has to work harder to do the blur. So it's basically rendering the entire scene and then it's applying a blur over it. You wanna turn off depth of field, you wanna turn off motion blur. Motion blur is a bigger one. That one's very taxing on your computer or your Steam Deck. So you're gonna turn off all the blurs that you can find. The next one I would turn off because the resolution and size of the screen is small, I would turn off anti-aliasing. That's the thing that makes the edges look smooth and, and, and rounded. It also seems to soften the image. So I turn off anti-aliasing or I put it on low in every game. I turn off the blurs in every game and that's pretty much it. And that's gonna help all your AAA titles especially run better. Anything that's not running over 30 frames or 40 frames per second, that's gonna be your tip to get a little bit better performance, better frame timing and a much smoother overall gaming experience. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, I will meet you in the comments below. Please like this video if you found it helpful. Subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. And to make sure you get notified of all future videos, please click that little bell. I appreciate you guys. I wanna build this community and I can't do it without you. Peace out.